rolling from your left. The Boeing P26 P shooter. represented the end of an era of fighter design with fixed undercarriage, open cockpit, wire brace wings and light armament of just two 30 caliber machine guns. Occasionally it carried a couple of small bombs and in fact it was the last US Army Air Corps aircraft to have had a fixed undercarriage. Owen decided to use wire bracing to keep down the drag and squeeze out a few more miles per hour. As you can see, they actually carried out some uh, experiments in streamlining and if you look at the engine they found that uh, by putting in a simple cowling over the engine cylinders they could get 17% speed increase. If you look at the engine you see the cowling. Well, that's that. B-26 was nearly 30 miles an hour faster than the older biplane fighters of the day and for a while became the main pursuit fighter of the United States. As you can see, it's quite maneuverable, popular with pilots once they have mastered its characteristics. down in the Second World War were by pea shooters based in the Philippines. If you look at the undercarriage and where it is in relationship to the engine and the pilot is very, very tricky to land due to the high power and torque of the 600 horsepower radial engine. The ultra short fuselage and relatively high landing speed didn't help either. And a number of uh, P-26s and pilots were lost in subsequent landing engine. They killed that by putting in flaps and a reinforced roll bar. This aircraft is powered by a 600 horsepower Wasp radial, top speed of 234 miles an hour, and a service ceiling of a rather uncomfortable 27,000 feet, which is not nice in an open cockpit. A tiny wingspan of just 27 feet and a range of 360 miles. Uh. produced by Boeing until it bought Lockheed Martin in 97 and then produced the F-15. <coughs> Restoration to flying condition was completed at the museum 
in Chino, Flames of Flame, in 2006, and it's currently the only airworthy example of an original P-26 in the world. And this one carries the colours of the pre-war US Army. Last pass coming up. This aircraft was uh, one of only several used by the United States Army Air Corps in the Panama Canal Zone. And the type also gave a pretty good account of itself in the Sino-Japanese campaign with a number of kills scored. In fact, the 11 export versions built for China were partially funded by donations from the Chinese-American community from collection boxes on the counters of Chinese restaurants and takeaways. 